Hello, this is Craig with Carshalton Advisory, and today we're going to go over the Objective 2.3 practice tasks from the Microsoft Office Specialist 2016 Study Guide for Microsoft Excel Expert Exam. Let's get started. So the first thing that they've asked us to do is to open up the Excel Expert 2.3 workbook. I have it highlighted here. We'll double click to open it up. They'd like us to create a new style called MOS Cell that uses the following description. So what we need to do is open up the cell styles. We're going to select new cell style. And these toggle boxes choose what our style is going to overwrite compared to what was original, originally in the cell. So we are going to need to overwrite our fonts, but not our numbers and not our fill. So let's format this after we name it M-O-S-C-E-L-L. -L. All right, so let's go into the alignment section. They have specified a center alignment. They have requested a font that is bold and 16 point, and then the color needs to be dark blue. Now when I hover over these, it's gonna tell me the color name. So this is dark blue here. They've requested a bottom border, which I can select here. Now we'll click OK. They've requested that we select the cell range A1 to G1. We'll now go into cell styles, find our custom format, and click it to apply. Let's move on to our next step. Next, they'd like a custom color scheme named MOS Colors and apply it to the workbook. So our color scheme are in page layout, and in colors. We're going to go all the way to the bottom to customize colors. And we will rename it now MOS Colors. And they haven't given us any specifics, so we'll just change a couple things um, in order to make it a little different than what it was before. Please don't judge me for my color taste. We'll click Save and move on to our next task. Next is to create a custom font set named MOS Fonts and apply it to the workbook. We're, again, we're going to go to the bottom where it says Customize Fonts. And we will rename it MOS Fonts. And we'll choose, uh, here we go, Broadway. There's a nice uh, tame font for us. Uh, so that all of our headings are going to now move into this font style. And then for our body font, um, let it, let's make it um, uh, this one here. You can choose whatever you'd like. We'll hit Save. And now let's apply it to our workbook. So these are Corbel, um, and then our heading fonts are going to switch to Broadway. And we can double check that by, let's try setting this as a heading and see if that works. No, it's been overwritten by that style. Here we go. There we go. There is our, uh, our very tame font style. So I'm going to undo that. Let's move on to our final step. Next, they've requested us to save a custom theme as MOS theme. So when we do this in our page layout, uh, it's going to take into account the, the colors that we have currently selected, 
the fonts that we currently have selected and and save it all together as a theme so we'll go into themes we're gonna save our current theme and we're gonna call it the MOS theme click Save and now when we go into our theme selector these are all the office preset themes and there is our custom theme so everything's taken care of for us so that uh, resolves the task for section 2.3 now I'll, I'll be frank I don't use the, the color or the themes very often in my my regular workflow with Excel however I do find the cell styles to be a, a powerful tool and I do use this quite a bit uh, and typically I have a bunch of macros that are set up to automatically select the style that I want uh, I'll make a future video in which I talk about some of those but that wraps up everything for Objective 2.3 Practice Tasks. Thanks for watching.